find that sometimes you have a friend or a loved one that comes to you and says, I'm so worried about this. Hi, my name is Zaheen Nanji and I help you embrace change, bounce back and flex your attitude. So today I'm going to share with you four tips, um, actually not four uh, you know, tips because they kind of follow along, so four steps I guess. Uh, that uh, you can use to help yourself and help someone else who comes to you and says, I'm really worried. So now you know how to handle that conversation. You're ready? So when someone comes to you and says, I'm so worried about this, the first thing that you want to say is, will worrying help the situation? So again, will worrying help the situation? And then if they say, well, maybe, maybe not, then the next thing you can ask is, well, can you do anything about it? And if they say, yeah, I can actually, then you say, well, then go do it. If they say no, then ask them, well, then why are you worrying about it? And then follow up with the third step. And that is, what is the worst thing that can happen? And can you handle that? All right. So let's just recap the three things or the three steps that you can take when someone comes to you and says, I am worried about this. So the first thing that you say is, will worrying help the situation? Number two is, can you do anything about it? If yes, then go do it. If no, then why are you worrying? The third step is, what's the worst thing that can happen and can you handle it? And then the last step, is think of one positive thing uh, that will come out of the situation. So think of one positive thing that you can live with also if this does not go away. And the, the reason you do the last step or the fourth step is to help them reframe the way that they're thinking. You know, the same thing happened to me when I had gone to see my surgeon when I found out that I had cancer in my breast and I went with my husband and she went on and on about how I had to go for surgery and chemotherapy and you know radiation and all those kinds of things and then it was a Friday morning and that weekend I was getting so angry and upset and all those emotions were just mounting and mounting and I was worrying right but it was on Sunday when I spoke to my husband and I said, I need to vent, I need you to listen until I'm done. And then I said the third thing, help me reframe my thoughts. So what I was asking was for the fourth step is, what's the one positive thing that will come out of this situation? And it really helped me reframe. And the one thing that he said was, well, it's good you're healthy because you can heal faster. And I hung on to those words that he said because it really helped me move forward with anything that I was going through at that time. Okay, so I hope that helped you. Again, my name is Zaheen Nanji and make some comments below to let me know if this helped and if you used it or not. Okay, until next time, bye.